Hey guys, today we're back with another gun review. And today on the channel, we're gonna be reviewing the Glock 47. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the Glock 47. This is the newest uh, Glock on the market along with the Glock 20 and the Glock 21 Ford Air 10mm and 45 ACP respectively. But uh, this is the new Glock 47 in 9mm. Before we get started with the review though, give a very special thank you to Center Target Firearms and Range in London, Kentucky. Um, they have lent me this firearm brand new whenever we fired the shots through it right then on video. Uh, so if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to review this gun, especially as quick as we did because this gun has just released this week. So I'll be leaving a link in the description below to their YouTube channel and to their website. Uh, swing by and check them out if you're in the area of London, Kentucky and check in the description below for both them links. So guys, once again, special thank you to Center Target and we'll go ahead and get started with the review. Okay, so this is pretty much a love child in between a Glock 17 and a Glock 19. It takes more after its daddy, the Glock 17, than it does the 19. Uh, the things that really are different about this gun than a Glock 17, because it's closer to a Glock 17 than a 19, is the uh, dust cover here. The dust cover is, or just this part of the frame from here up, is a Glock 19. Uh, if you don't know, the Glock 19 is a 15 round magazine capacity, and the Glock 17 is the 17 round magazine capacity. So as you see here, this is a Glock 17 grip, Glock 17 barrel, Glock 17 slide, except for this uh, little piece right up here, which, what, uh, which is what makes the differences between the 47 and the 17. As you can see here, there is a dust cover under here whenever on a 17, it's just a little oval here for the, uh, for the spring to catch before it, uh, so it don't go outside of the uh, slide. But like I was saying on this one right here, this little piece here is what makes the difference between this slide and a Glock 17. So if you're asking, what's even the reason of buying this for uh, instead of a 17? Well, to me, I don't really know if there is one. Um, yes, I do like the looks of it better than a 17. I like the shorter dust cover and it will still take all your uh, major lights such as the TLR1-HL X300 Surefire and the uh, Valkyries and all that from Olight. Uh, but the biggest selling point of this is quote unquote modularity. Same no, way. it's not as modular as the SIG uh, P320 or 365 now, but Glock is stepping into that modularity with this gun here. How is it modular? Well, you can take uh, this slide here, which is a full four and a half inch barrel and put it now on a Glock 19. Um, you can also take this frame here and put a Glock 19 slide on it so it would have a four inch barrel. So you can either make a Glock 19X, a Glock 45, which is pretty much what it would be, or whenever you're taking the slide off here and putting it on a Glock 19, it'd be a, pretty much a Glock 19L. Or uh, I think they might be patenting the Glock 49 for that design. But if you have this gun right here and you have a Glock 19, uh, that's how you pretty much marry them up together is with the slide. If you have the lower uh, and you have a uh, 19 slide or, or a, you know, a, uh, a 45 slide, you can throw it on here and have that four inch barrel. But it's interesting to a certain point, uh, just give and take either way it goes. Uh, I was trying to really, really uh, catch on to the recoil on it. Recoil is pretty much the exact same as a 17. I couldn't feel no differences at all in it, with it, to be honest with you all. Uh, the reason I'm talking about recoil for is, like I was saying a minute ago, that um, that spring system here, it's for a Glock 19. It's not a full-in spring system uh, such as a uh, 17 has or a 34. So a few differences, but not really that many. Still comes with three 17 round magazines. Uh, we shot uh, three full magazines, but for some reason the uh, video uh, camera only got two of them mag dumps. Uh, so it is what it is, but we did shoot three magazines worth through it. Uh, it is MOS capable. So as you see here, it's the top plate. And some interest in that I didn't even know until uh, we recently got some new Glocks uh, of the day is that um, these plates anymore are not metal, they're plastic, which it doesn't make that big of a deal to me, but I was like, hmm metal or a plastic plate on the Glock. Comes with one MOS plate now. I'm not even sure what this is for. 
Uh, looks to me maybe an RMR cutout, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't know why they didn't include the four uh, plates anymore, but they at least include one. Um, check with Glock though before uh, you uh, mount this to something because I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure what it's for, but if I had to have a good guess, it's probably for the RMR troops going. Also, only comes with two uh, beaver tails now. The uh, Glocks used to come with four beaver tails, two of the ones that actually had uh, the uh, beaver tail on them, two of them that was just, you know, that you actually put on the back of the Glock to make it feel a little bit bigger in your hand. So it's interesting, it only comes with two. Uh, also as well, it comes with your manual and your, um, your uh, brush as well for your cleaning rod and all that. So, Interesting gun overall, but is it something that I would really be interested in purchasing? If I didn't have a 17 or 34 at the house and I was looking for this, you know, size, just by aesthetics, I like the way it looks better than a 17. It just matches my eye better for some reason. And I, I really do like the way it looks, personally speaking. It looks kind of like a 1911 uh, R with a rail on it. Um, if I already have a 17, would I buy this? No. If I already had a 19, would I buy this? It would push me more to buy it if I already had a 19 just so I could have that four and a half inch uh, barrel on it because um, I actually can still carry a Glock 34 with a uh, with threaded barrel and a compensator on it. So overall length of the barrel with including the compensator is approximately seven inches. Um, that being said, I can still carry that every day I'm not working. And you know, people look at me crazy like, why in the world have you got that for? The length of the barrel and all that, it really doesn't matter until you get to like the nine and 10 inch mark to where it's almost running down to uh, your knee <laughs> per se. But um, whenever I have it on and I've got it in a inside the waistband on an about a three o'clock hold, maybe four o'clock hold, uh, I never have any problems. The problem I have with printing is the uh, actual stock on, or the frame on it. And whenever you have a Glock 19, it will be cut off more around here so you would have that smaller uh, grip frame on it and it wouldn't imprint near as bad, but you'd still have that full 17 uh, barrel, so 4.5 inch barrel instead of four. Uh, what does that help? It helps with velocities, helps with sight radius. You can get a little bit more precise of a shot if you're not running a red dot. So a few positives with this, but really guys, to be honest with you, it's not really that that different. I mean, whenever I first seen it, I was like, hey, it looks, looks cool, don't get me wrong, but I just don't, didn't really ever see the point in it, and I kind of still don't. Yes, if I had a Glock 19, it would be nice to buy one of these just so I could put on that 19 frame and have the 19L, but at the same time, it's it's not really groundbreaking or nothing to me. Still a Glock, still ran perfectly, still felt great to me, and I still shoot every Glock great because that's what I grew up on was shooting and some automatics was the Glocks and 1911s. But overall though, guys, this will be about the end of the actual Glock 47 review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and get back to you as soon as possible. But once again, unless I, you know, have a Glock 19, I, and, you know, or I don't have any Glocks at all, I really don't see a purpose in running out and buying this one, if that makes sense to you. But guys, once again, special thank you to Center Target Farms and Range in London, Kentucky. If you're in the area, swing by and check them out, and I'll be leaving a link to their YouTube and their website below. Uh, so a special thank you to them, and a special thank you to you all as well for viewing this video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see y'all in the next video.